What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. So something came across my news feed, and I've been seeing this. Um, and let me just tell you, I have a lot of mixed emotions about welding rebar to the undercarriage of your vehicle. Um, do you know what a nightmare that is going to be when it's time to replace your catalytic converter or any part of your exhaust system or service it? That all has to be cut away. Your catalytic converter on average only lasts, lasts around 100,000 miles. Not only that, welding all that crap to the undercarriage of your car, it's a, uh, when you weld to metal, you're taking properties away from it. Let me see if I can explain that to you. Um, so you're gonna, you can, uh, I don't have any scrap metal out here. But anyway, if you look at most welded connections, when they're welded together, typically they fail there because you're changing, you're changing the molecules in the metal. All right, so this is really long-term, probably gonna make your frame and your unibody rot out a lot faster in my opinion. So if you have a commercial fleet vehicle, this is probably a good idea. But if this is a regular passenger vehicle, I, uh, I wouldn't advise that style. You definitely want something that bolts on or un un unbolts if you want to do some type of security. But the rebar option is something you can do. It is super durable and strong, but you can cut through rebar too. So if they have enough time, they can just cut through the rebar. So, and then this is time consuming and expensive. I would definitely frown against this on regular vehicles like this. If you have full coverage insurance, you really don't have any worries. And then to go through all this on your daily driver, I definitely would not do that. Thanks for watching.